Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, I think we're going to do a random ranking today. We're going to go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so, and then I'll dive into that comment section and we'll talk about movies. But... In saying that, I'm so sorry. I feel so awful. Normally, I feel like I'm either really good at keeping up with the comment section or I'm just a little bit behind, but I'm like really behind now. Uh, work stuff has just kind of become crazy and I'm, I need a new laptop. I don't, I'm just like, I got like lots of stuff going on here um, that's kind of kept me away from something as simple as is as replying so just want to apologize for that i hope to get more consistent with that uh soon i just need like a few days to, to take care of some stuff and keep focused on some stuff in terms of electronics and and work because right now electronics and work and we're doing house stuff we're getting our, our house sighted uh we're going to be doing floors soon a lot of a lot of stuff going on right now but I, I still want to maintain my, my daily vlogs, uh, my daily videos. That's still very fun for me, still a, a great creative outlet for me. So those who are still, uh, I, I still see, you know, on my phone, like somebody has, has uh, commented. And every time I see that, I'm, I'm so thankful because I know I have been behind on that. So thank you for still commenting. Uh, and I will get to them. I will get to them. I'm just going to be <laughs> late later than I than the normal even when I'm late to commenting even later than that so many apologies but thank you so much for still uh, participating uh, really means a lot but yeah let's get to that random ranking let's see what we can what we can pick up got beast on the shirt here okay one right here then you know let's let's kind of stay over here on this side maybe and then maybe one in this section let's see what this is Let's see if I've seen these films. Oh gosh, yeah. I've been a while. No. Did I? I did. Um, I'm gonna pick two other ones. And I'm gonna pick them from right here. One, two. Are these two movies? What is this? Oh, I think I know what one is. I'm gonna guess one is Johnny Mnemonic. I'm right. Okay, that works. <laughs> All right, one's a TV movie, so you may not have seen it, but the first one here is Nine with Daniel Day-Lewis, and I think Daniel Day-Lewis is great. I love almost everything he's in, except for this movie. I was not a fan of this movie. This is like some sort of weird, strange sequel to uh, Fellini's Eight and a Half, and I just couldn't get into this at all, sort of musical-ish. I, I guess I shouldn't say at all, because I think I was kind of into Kate Hudson's part, if I remember right. Um, but I mean, I was never like a huge eight and a half fan. I watched it cause you know, you're supposed to watch it if you are a cinephile. I can't remember if I watched it in college for a class or if I did it on my own, it might've been for a class. Um, I don't know. Did some like film studies in, in grad school. So was it for that class? I don't think it was. So I probably watched this, you know, eight and a half on my own. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I couldn't get into this. It felt like such a dud because I think this came off the heels of uh, um, There Will Be Blood. Is that right? Is that the order? I think it was There Will Be Blood and then this and it was just kind of like, ooh, man, oh man. Uh, but maybe I need to watch it again. I only saw it the one time. Next we have Johnson County War. Now this is that made for TV movie and I think it was told in a couple parts, but it has some good people in it. It has Tom Berenger, Luke Perry, uh, Rachel Ward, Burt Reynolds is in this. <laughs> Other people also that you would probably recognize. Um, there's a character from it whose name is escaping me, but he's in uh, Prison Break. He's on Grimm. And I actually met him two times. He used to come into this bar that I worked at here in town. And it was just so strange because it's not like I live, well, I guess I kind of live in an area that has Hollywood connections in a way, but he wasn't here for those things. He just happened to be in town. 
and um, one of the one of the days he was there was like the season premiere. It was either the season premiere or like the the last episode of the season uh, for Grimm. And I remember asking him. I was like, "Hey, you you, you watching Grimm tonight or something like that?" Uh, or celebrate. I can't remember what I said, but I said something like that. I didn't watch the show, but my colleagues at the bar did. So I was like, oh, I know this information now. I'm going to chime or, you know, start a, start a conversation with him. And he's like, ah, I don't even know what that means, man. <laughs> it was like, I think it was just like acting as a job to him. You know, he doesn't like follow the show or anything. Um, but yeah, he was, I remember he, he was, I don't even know. I don't know. Am I like giving too much? Is this like exposing him or something? I don't know. He was chewing tobacco, which I don't think we were, uh, you know, I, I live in a state that like got rid of smoking and tobacco like pretty early. So I don't even know if he was allowed to do that. Maybe. I don't, I don't know what the rules were. I think it's just smoking you can't do. But anyway, he had tobacco and uh, he is asking me for a cup to spit in. So it was my job to, to find him a cup to spit in. Because it didn't, he didn't want it to be a glass cup. He wanted it to be uh, like styrofoam, you know, something opaque. Um, so that was my job. Uh, but so that was kind of fun. I can't even remember his name right now. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, in this movie, they also uh, tried Jello for the first time. I remember that was part of it. Um, like she makes Jello, he eats it. I think the kids eat it. Anyway, I think it's a good story, based on a true story, too, if I remember correctly. Next, we have Johnny Mnemonic. I was right. Johnny Mnemonic was the other one. And look, it's one of them Super Bits. Super Bits. So I have two copies of Johnny Mnemonic. I have this one here, the Super Bit, but I, which is color. But I also have the black and white Blu-ray. Um, and look, it's that one of those slip cases that you can look through like this. Do I look like Jordy LaForge? Reading Rainbow. LeVar Burton. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look in a book. Reading Rainbow. Off topic. Okay, let's get back into Johnny Mnemonic. This was like, was this after Speed? I think it was after Speed. What year did this come out? 97? And Speed was 94? So yeah, after Speed. Um, which is kind of weird because that feels like... It would be before Speed, honestly. Like, if you look at him, he just seems like a more seasoned actor in Speed. I'm talking about Keanu here, versus in this movie. This movie, I don't know, he was maybe finding his footing or something. The way I understand it, though, it's like, after Speed, um, he, like, all these other movies kept trying to, like, okay, let's, let's, let's try and make it a little speedish in a way, you know, cause they wanted to capitalize off of that. But anyway, and this is, this is kind of matrixy before the matrix though, which is kind of cool. I like it. It's weird. It's strange, but I dig it. So how are we going to rank these? I think I know what I'm going to do. So Johnson County war, I used to watch this all the time. This was a great background movie for me. I used to write papers to it in college. Um, is that how I watched it? I think, I don't know. Was I writing papers or maybe I was, I don't know. Um, I used to be on the computer writing stuff while this was on. I'm pretty sure I've had it since before college, 2001. Yeah, okay, so definitely. Um, used to put it on. It's very long, so that was helpful. Uh, I don't have the length of the show here. Oh, 178 minutes. So it was just like something I could put on for a long stretch of time, knowing I could uh, get a lot of work done. So in a lot of ways, Johnson County War should be number one, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to Johnny Mnemonic because it is um, ambitious and weird and strange and cyberpunky and all of that sort of stuff. And I just like that big swing that they did, even if, I mean, I don't know, is it, I, I think it's ultimately a failure, but I, I don't know, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. But a lot of that is because it's so strange and odd and weird and... Um, all of that. So anyway, I'm going to go Johnny Mnemonic, then Johnson County War, and then Nine. So my question to you, though, is have you seen these films, these three right here? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.